So the change process for me is about what I call a defining moment. We have insights in life, often frequently. So an insight is an aha moment, but typically the insight fades over time, vanishes, it retreats, and then we don't make change. But I always thought if I can have an insight, which I think is important and profound, I can stop in that moment and say, my life is different as of this moment. So I'll share some defining moments that I've had. I was a freshman in college. I got into the school I wanted to get to with all of my good friends from high school. I only had one problem. My girlfriend was a junior in high school and wasn't off to college. And in those years, we called it going steady. We were going steady. So my friends went off and partied and joined fraternities. And I sat in the hall of my dorm waiting for the phone to ring, way before cell phones. So I had a miserable year. The next year, she got into a local college which had no interest for me. I absolutely had no desire to go to that school, but I transferred to be with her. Three weeks into the semester, I meet her in the cafeteria for lunch. And she comes over to me and she says, I've decided to go out with other guys. My heart was racing, shock, fear, jealousy, and abject horror. I was very introverted at that time. And so I'm going to transfer back to the school I left. And I went for a walk in the courtyard. And during that walk, I thought, no. I'm going to stay, and I'm going to break out of being an introvert and find a place here. It was a defining moment. By the time I left, I might have been one of the most well-known people on campus. Fast forward. 20 years later, I'm in business. I have two young children. I'm married, successful, built a house in Westchester. And one day, it just strikes me. This isn't fulfilling, this job, this industry, this career. It's not what I want. Typically, we're struck with these thoughts about why we can't do something. You know, there's a division in life between why can't I or why I can't. I see that so often in my work with my clients. My attitude has always been, why can't I? So I went home that night and told what is now my former wife, that I was going to close the business. And she said, well, what are you going to do? I said, I don't know. I went to sleep that night, like as excited as a kid before their birthday party. I could do anything, I thought. I wasn't struck with fear about what I can't do. I remembered that many years before, someone had asked me, what do you love to do? And I recalled my answer. I said, I love to help people think differently, to get insights and shift. So I thought, what would that look like? Well, that led me off to graduate school to get a degree. A couple of years later, we ended up getting divorced. My former wife was not signed on for these changes in our life, particularly financially. One weekend, when my sons were with their mother, I went out for a bike ride. It was a beautiful spring day. In the middle of that bike ride, I had an anxiety attack. I don't think I had ever had one before. My heart started racing. I felt frozen with fear. I missed my children terribly. Got back home, went into my house, and absent-mindedly pulled a book off the shelf that I had never read before. It was aptly called The Turning Point. And it was by a quantum physicist named Fridtjof Capra. So I started to read about this new paradigm, this new worldview, a new sense of reality that was on the horizon. And as I started to read, I realized I wasn't anxious any longer. I wasn't fearful any longer. Something shifted in me from reading about this new reality that scientists were seeing. That was perhaps 25 years ago, and I've never stopped along that path. 